Now, we told you last week about the passing of Mr. Wizard. Don Herbert, of course, made science fun for millions of kids. He was also a mentor to our science guy, Steve Spangler. Steve is here this morning. Steve, you're going to show us some of Mr. Wizard's best science secrets. And I see that we got an all-time favorite. Well, one of his best secrets, when I started back in 1991, one of his best secrets was don't let him put you in a lab coat. If you, <laughs> okay. if you notice that, uh, he always had uh, rolled up sleeves and sure. maybe a tie in the younger years. But in the older years, it was always a sweater. He wanted science accessible for absolutely anybody. So he used this common household things and even the book dating back to the 1950s, uh, still uh, in the 1990s he was doing some of those. So I have to show you his kind of signature demonstration that he shared with us okay. <clears throat> in the late 1990s. It was the old egg in the bottle trick, you know, where you put the egg in the bottle, okay, you put sure. the fire inside. But he found that that wasn't really accessible to kids because you couldn't do that with the milk bottle. It was hard to find. So his version in, it used uh, water balloons. So I'll show you what his favorite one uh, was up to the very end he loved this one with the juice bottle. So the object okay. was you have to get the water balloon, so just a regular balloon, a water balloon, we into the that. bottle. Okay. And that's hard to do. And so the way that you do that, of course, is with a little bit of fire. So our viewers right. at home, if you do this, you've got to have some adult supervision. In sure. your case, you, I'll supervise you. Thank all you right? so much. So here's what will happen. I'll light this on fire, fire and put it down inside. Okay. And then the balloon is going to go on top. And so hopefully we get some of the air heated sure. up. Okay. The air leaves. So ready? Put really it inside. Go, go ahead. In put it in. Good. Okay. And now this is on top here. Notice how it bubbles mm -hmm. and... Just, just like that? Elegant. Wow, you know? okay. So when it goes in, again, our science is that it heats up, the air leaves, and as the air leaves, now we create this one-way valve. So this sits here like this. Watch the fluttering. Here it goes. And then literally, Yoink. the outside well, air okay. just kind of pushes it in. Is that okay. fun? Yeah. And now to get it out, just as easy. Now you could take it and just try to pull it, okay. but that in, in fact, and then that That's was very fun. Don, all, Don always loved that with kids that were on the set because he'd have them pull and pull and pull. And of course the secret was something as simple as the, uh, now I've got a little vacuum that's inside. Okay. Now it's as simple as this. So go ahead and push the straw inside. Okay. So the straw goes inside. Now you kind of have to maneuver it off to the side okay. and grab the end. And if you do that, the air will sneak in as the balloon kind of comes ah, out. Sort of breaks is, the vacuum. You got it. You just kind of pull it. It reminds me of right when out. you try to get a bottle of ketchup to work. Yeah. Similar idea. Okay. Absolutely. And just kind of pull it. Oh, keep, you keep on pulling. The same ah, pops. You, I'm going to get water. Isn't it just elegant? Okay. But that really is what Don Herbert was all about. Sure. Was science was for everyone and, uh, and never really prep the kids ahead of time. Yeah. If you watch those old shows, it was just a chance for the kids to come to his garage, not his laboratory. Science was for everyone. Really uh, good stuff. Really, really inspired a lot and of And no lab coat was required for this experiment. You Look at this. We're okay. clean and we learned all about different Absolutely. densities of air. Good yeah. stuff. Yeah. So for more of this experiment and other great experiments and this tribute to Mr. Wizard, check out the morning show page over at 9news.com and we're going to be right back. Thank you so much, Steve. Thank you. You bet.